hello everyone thanks for watching our video uh, hope it is helpful for your study and uh, the second uh, type of representation is nothing but it's a syn syntactic uh, analysis so in the previous video i have explained the lexical analysis so now uh, the syntactic analysis what is the syntactic analysis means consider set or sequence of words okay we have to consider the sequence of word words that is uh, if you consider a single word it's it, it is uh, nothing but it's a word so if you consider more than one word and uh, if you arrange them in some manner uh, it is going to form a sentence right so that is what here uh, they are uh, telling so consider set or sequence of words uh, so the sequence of words is known as that is a sentence and we have to find its structure and we have to find the structure uh, how they are related or uh, what's the meaning of the sentence all these things we have to find the structure next decompose or divide the sentence into words and find how they are related to each other so in the second step we have to divide or we have to decompose the sentence into words okay we have to divide it into words and we have to find how these words are related to each other how they are um, uh, meaningful to each other how they are related to each other we have to find this how they are uh, related to each other okay uh, and next capture grammaticality and non grammaticality of the sentence by looking at word order number case agreement okay <clears throat> we have to capture the grammaticality and non grammaticality uh, this means we have to check whether it is grammatically correct or uh, it is not correct that is non grammaticality uh, if it is not uh, having uh, any grammatical rules or it is not following any grammatical rules means it is um, not uh, grammatical so uh, so we have to check or capture the grammaticality or uh, non grammaticality uh, by looking um, so uh, how to check means uh, by looking into the word order number and case agreement so word order means um, the first word will be followed with the second some set of rules it's having some set of rules that that's it so word order in the sense uh, in nlp it will be having some set of rules so using that we have to find the word order uh, whether it is in order or not if it is in not order it then it is not following uh, grammatical rules then it is uh, non grammatic okay uh, then number so uh, let's have uh, or consider some set of numbers uh, for the uh, grammatical word uh, assign some numbers so uh, it has to follow some uh, number rules right uh, if it is not following some number rules means it is not grammatical if it is following then it is grammatical and then case agreement uh, for example uh, in english uh, will be having uh, subject verb object uh, this is the way we, we are representing your simple sentence okay so like that case agreement means it is also some set of rules uh, it has to agree with the uh, grammatical rules if it is not then it is not grammatical so these are all the uh, three things uh, we are uh, looking into uh, to check the grammaticality or uh, non grammaticality okay and it requires syntactic knowledge okay uh, to solve this or uh, to look into this uh, uh, syntactic analysis it is required uh, syntactic knowledge okay for processing uh, it requires uh, syntax syntactic knowledge so what is the syntactic knowledge how words are combined to form a phrase or sentences okay so the syntactic knowledge means how the words are combined or how the words are uh, assigned or how the words are arranged to form phrases and sentences okay because the sequence of words are nothing but sentences right uh, number of sentences they form the phrases so so how the words are combined to form a phrases and sentences is what the syntactic knowledge means so not every sequence of words result in a sentence okay the every uh, if we are combining more than word uh, one word means it is nothing but it is sentence but not every sequence of word is meaningful or not every uh, sentence of word uh, or every sequence of word is sentence okay consider an example i went to the market it's a sentence okay so considering the same so here i is a single word went is a word to is a word the is a word market is a word and each and every words are meaningful uh, we are not having any um, like different uh, words which are having uh, no meanings so all these words are uh, meaningful okay so considering uh, the same words that is went the i to market we are combining this so this is the sequence of words so according to our definition the sequence of word means it is sentence right so but this is not the case all the sequence of the words are not form a sentence because it is not meaningful went the i to market 
doesn't it sense anything or uh, does it have any meaning no right so this is not a sentence so see here i went to the market it has some rules it is having some order it is having some number it is having some agreement with the and it is having some relationship between the words so that it is having some meaning so this is considered to be a sentence that is why we have to check the grammaticality and non grammaticality